Hello everybody and welcome to Dicked Out 2. This is a sort of survival adventure treasure seeking roguelike type game that was created in Minecraft as part of the Hermitcraft by I believe Tango and Alexa has kindly set up this little competition between this lovely bunch as a like little sort of mini series of five episodes doing 20 runs in this decked out mode and seeing who can come out on top with the most terms at the end. For those of you that don't know what this is, there's a video by Tango that fully explains it, but there's also a little tutorial up here and I can quickly click through uh, so you can read, pause and read through the instructions of exactly what we're doing. So you get a bit of a better idea of exactly what I'm doing, but essentially the way this works is we're going to be delving into a dungeon with these randomized decks of cards that will trigger every so often to give us advantages. And we've got again meta currencies in the dungeons to be able to get better for future dungeons. And using that currency we can then buy terms and the person with the most terms wins. But it's pretty difficult. There's a lot of traps down there. You can't make too much noise. As as the difficulty progress as the time progresses, the difficulty increases. All sorts of stuff. So first things first, we'll grab our set of cards from in here um and then we can start playing so if we take a look here we've got our cards within here and we we can kind of take a little look at what they do by just holding up here so you can see sneak adds a uh, block we've got this here which adds um extra coins in the dungeon this adds extra spirits in the dungeon this adds even more spirits in the dungeon um this is extra block as well and we've got a bit of everything there so we've got we've got some interesting stuff here that blocks certain things for us um and allow us to essentially do a little bit better in the dungeon as time progresses. Uh, but this, I've been practicing this for quite some time now, and it's very, very difficult. <laughs> I am not very good at it. So first things first, we jump in here and we use one of these frozen shards. Uh, as you saw, there's 20 of them, so we'll be doing four um, runs an episode, and we'll be doing five episodes. Um, and we're going to jump in and just try it out and try and explain it as we go. But this is going to be kind of like a, like I said, sort of a survival but treasure-seeking type adventure roguelike. It's it's very, very unique. It's very interesting. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is take a look at this. We need to remove zones and randomize more positions, as I've been told to do. And then there is easy, medium, or hard. So I think for now we'll start off on easy just to sort of explain how this works and try our best to get what we can. And then eventually I think we'll progress to medium and medium be hard if we get enough stuff but for now we'll just put in our shulker on the lamp here which will basically randomize our cards into the game and we can jump on this little minecart here and run on down and then once we get in i can explain a little more about how this works but first of all we get take our little ride into the uh into the dungeon and we sort of go out about our business now this is one where we're not gonna be mining blocks or anything this is purely sort of a adventure style thing we're not, we're not gonna be like building anything or crafting or anything like that so we jump in here and we get ourselves a compass and a map so the map is going to tell us all of our different stats and the compass is going to let us know where our artifact is which is what we need to grab before we try and escape so you can see we've got our frost embers our treasures which are our meta currencies we got our hazard blocks and clank which is basically hazard blocks is like how much hazards there are based on how long we've been down here and clank is how much noise we make and how much more difficult it makes it so the exit's right here look um that's what we're going to have to make it back to. And there is going to be ravagers, sort of big beastie enemies around looking to kill us. And we're going to be using this compass here to try and make our way towards a um, towards a treasure. I'm going to grab some berries here as well because this allows us to stay uh, topped up on hunger. That's kind of our only way of uh, staying alive. Now, I have practiced for about an hour and a half. I'm getting a little better at it, but I'm still by no means good. This is a very, very difficult mod. Um, and I'm sure other people will do far better than I, but I will try my best. So, we're going to sort of be looking around for treasure on the floor. As we stay in the dungeon, you'll hear an announcer make noise like, like that. That's him calling out our cards being used, and when he uses those cards, there's one of the ravages there. When he uses our cards, it'll spawn things around the area, so you'll get, like, more money and things like that hidden around. There's a ravager there, God damn it. Now, I don't want to fall in the water there. If I fall in the water, I basically die, so... We're going to have to be a little careful. Have a little look around. So the compass is telling us to go this way so far. So we, we want to try and not sprint when we can to conserve our energy. There's uh, a Ravager. But whenever a Ravager's about, we do obviously want to sprint as much as we can to get away. There's another one there. Okay, we're probably burned here. We are very burned here. I've got some gold there. Look, there's one piece of gold. 
Uh, we've also got some more berries here, which I'll try and grab. Okay, we did manage to escape those ravages, luckily, but only just. Another one right there. God damn it. Can I, can I try and coax him over here? Where are you, boy? Come, come down here. Come down here. Why aren't you coming down here? He's going to kill me if I get any closer. My god, I just, I just want to get him out of that area so I can get through that goddamn door, but he's not... Not looking like he wants to do that right now. So the Ravagers will kind of move around on their own. Oh, we actually managed to get the key as well, I didn't realise. This key allows us to get to the lower levels. Essentially, there's four different levels of varying difficulty, and some of these compasses will let will ask you to go to lower levels, and there'll be more loot on those lower levels, but they are, like I said, significantly more dangerous, so there's definitely a big associated risk with that. At the minute, we are, we are absolutely, like, trapped. I think there's a walkway through here I could maybe use. Yes, there is. Good. Okay, let's try and run straight past that guy. I'm just going to try and... Oh, fuck. There's another Ravager there. God damn it. Another key over here. Actually, there's... I got three keys. Wow. Can he swim? If he can swim, I'm probably burned. I got another key. Why is there so many keys? What's going on here? What's going on here? There's a little path down here we can go down. I guess there better not be a Ravager down here. <laughs> oh, dude, what is going on with these keys, man? There's meant to be one key. Did I bug the game? What's going on? Okay, so we've managed to get six keys. <laughs> Don't know if that means anything for us. Um. So where, where exactly is our compass telling us to go at the moment? I haven't really been looking at it. I think it wants us to head up over there, which is where one of the Ravages is right now, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not in this corner. We're going to have to go up and around. You can hear those little noises. That means stuff spawning around the area. Are we safe in here? We are relatively safe in here. Anyone up here? I think there's only four Ravages max, so... Hey, there's some more gold. Gold can be converted into crowns, and crowns can be used as a currency to buy things for your future adventures. Oh, there's a rapture there. Okay. He can get through this door. Bollocks. I didn't realize that was a door where he could go through. Is he chasing? He currently is not chasing. Good. Didn't have to physically see you. Oh, there's a crown up there. So, there is certain things where you can get, like, a jump boost and stuff, which can help you grab stuff like that. But, obviously, I don't have any of that right now. Careful, obviously, the lava here. Okay. So, here's where our key goes, if we, if we would like to actually drop our key in and do something with that. It's not super necessary because we don't really want to go down to the future floors here. Oh, this way's been blocked off. Damn. Wasn't expecting that. So we, we could go down to the future, to like the next floor if we wanted to, but probably not a sound idea to do for no reason at the moment. We probably just want to try and win this. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where our, uh, where our next treasure is. But I'm pretty sure there's a Ravager basically sat right on top of it. Should I check here? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know how to get to it, but I'm pretty sure there's a Ravager, like, right next to it. So we're, we're going to have a kind of a hard time getting to that. Oh, lovely. Hello. We're going to have to run right past you. And keep on going. Okay, well, oh, for God's sake, there's another one right here. Are you coming down here? I think they have, like, some sort of AI blocking thing where they can't go past certain areas or something. Because this guy's getting confused. Like, I need him to come over here, really. Okay, no, he's coming over here, lovely. There is, like, these little loops you can do to basically confuse them and get past them. He saw me. Their range for our aggro is so large. Come through, come through. Oh, 
I need to get past him. I think I'm just going to have to beeline it. Okay. I've managed it. I've managed it. More berries there. Can I get those before this guy aggroes? Oh, my God. Okay, first run, is be he's been pretty stressful so far. He's been pretty goddamn stressful. Hey, we got more gold here. That's lovely. Oh, there's another Ravager there. Another one right there. Luckily, there is a way around this guy. Up through here should allow us to get around him. Okay, so our, our, our treasure should be somewhere around here. Grab these berries real quick. Right, so our treasure should be somewhere here. Can we get out of here if we fall in? It's hard to tell what exact block it's on. I think it is down there, you know. But I'm scared to go down there. There's some soul essence there. What are they called? Frost embers, what they're called. But keep calling them souls, but they're not souls. I think I can get down, uh, back up from here if I fall down. I'm a bit scared to, though. Right, what exact block is it on that it's telling us to go for here? I think it's that one there. So we've got to throw our compass. Yeah, I can definitely get back up if I do this, right? Throw that. There you go. So we got we got a treasure. Now we've got to get out of here. So now we've got all of our stuff to get out. So basically now we've just got to go back the way we came and not die. We got shades of the dog. There's a ravager right there, look. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what the fuck is that? I forgot about those ghosties. Okay, so there's basically little spirits that come after you the moment you grab your essence thing. Right, where's the other Ravager gone? Why is there water there now? Oh god, this is part of the traps, isn't it? No, 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 no. Yeah, you bastard. Oh, man. Okay, so that's part of the traps. We stayed there for far too long. Um, just finding that treasure took forever. But that's that's our first run. Wasn't terrible, considering. Wasn't terrible. Um, we didn't obviously make it that far in terms of getting stuff, but you get the general idea of what we're meant to do here. We've got to sort of kite these guys around, go to different levels and grab different treasure. I think for the first episode, we'll stick on easy um, and then we'll move up to medium later on. And we'll try our best to complete one. This time, we're just going to have to be quicker. Simply, simply put, we're just going to have to be quicker. So we'll grab that there, which will reset our box. We can do that again to randomize our positions. And we'll just wait for our uh, chest to reform back into this box. Thank you. Okay, so that's a, we, we haven't used any cards. So this is the same cards we had last time. Basically, we can just add to that deck. It's not like that deck gets expended. Go on down. And we try again. That was a fun first run, though. That was a fun first run. Right, math, this is level one artifact once again. But this time, let's try and be a bit quicker about it. I, I'm annoyed because we actually got quite a lot of gold that last time as well, which is obviously what you want to get. Now, this artifact could be pretty much anywhere. I don't want to be sprinting too much, but I am sprinting a little bit just to start off a little quicker, even if it does use some hunger. This is one thing that's very annoying. As you can see here, um, this bush hasn't respawned yet. It hasn't regrown. Oh, there's one of the doors closing off. Oh, there's some berries. Oh, wait. Oh. This is my... I still got my shades of the dog. They didn't despawn. And my gold. Oh, God. Okay. I could just leave now. Do you know what? Let's let's be a little risky. Let's be a little bit risky. And see where our ravages are. I'm trying to see where this compass takes. If there's, a, if there's a ravager down here, then I'm going to back away.
But our compass is taking us straight in the same direction as last time. Oh, I think we found it. That we did. Okay, now we just get the hell out of here. Found a bit of soul lesson stuff there. So we just run. I like the fact that it's ice so you can kind of run a bit faster. So I don't actually know how this is going to work considering I, I have two things. I'm not sure if that's meant to happen, you know. I don't know if that's a bug or not. <laughs> I mean, it's lucky for me, but I don't know if it's meant to be something that can happen. We go down this way. And we've made it. We've relinquished our relics. We've got a multigrain waffle. Lovely. And we've got Shades of the Dog, lovely. I don't know if adding two down there is going to do anything. But basically, eventually all of our stuff will pop up out of here. And we'll get to spend it on various things in here. So we got 11 Essence for that. So not a lot, not a lot. But as you can see here, so these are the terms that we want to be... Um, we want to be buying, so the person with the most of these at the end is the winner. Uh, so, one for ten embers. Oh, there's uh, more. There you go, I got thirteen. I don't know why more came up. Oh, there's, there's even more down there. I'd like those, please. Can I have them? Do, can I go in here? I'm gonna guess that's a no. <laughs> Because I'm se I seem to be stuck in here now. Stuck. Oh, there you go. Okay, nice. Okay, so we got 18 of these so far. So we can buy various things here. You can see there's different um, levels of cards that we can buy. So these are our, rare, our uncommon cards. These are our rare cards. And these are our common cards. So commons are ones that we already have pretty much. Rares, we, we, ha we have a few rares, but there's going to be some here that we don't have. Um, and then the, uh, the uncommon, sorry, and then the rare ones, these are the ones that are crazy. So, I think we probably want to try and buy a rare. We've got 18, so we could buy block flip 4. I don't actually know how the block works, you know. That block's clank. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go for this one. Uh, so, in here, we toss all of these. And then, yeah, so then we can take the rest of those out. Th these will disappear at the end. Basically, any unspent ones just disappear. Um, press button for your official tokens. We'll grab those two. Why not? And then we come over to this door over here to essentially win. Um, and we've got some gold to put in here. So this will convert eight of those gold into two crowns once they have all been eaten up. We can then press this button. And this is the end of our run. So we come in here. And we get deaded by this man. And you were slain by nothing. Survived. Lovely. So now if we go on to our third run, we will be able to see our new cards and such. So we grab one of these. Um, I think I'm meant to sleep between runs. That might be why. Press button to re-enter if you forgot to sleep. So I, th I think maybe I meant to sleep between runs. That might be why I, I bugged out the first one, but... Oh well. Um, no one told me that. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's re-enter. Um, and carry on. And on to our third run. So you'll see now that when we ask for our box back, we, we've got cards as well, and uh, our, our crowns. So we can come in here, we can ask for this back. We'll make sure we reset these again. And then we'll wait for our box to come back. And there you go, look. So we get our box. We get our two um, relics back as sort of treasures. We got our new card. And we got our crowns as well. The dungeon is so now we can put that down. Put this card in here. And we can put that back in the slot. Interesting. 
Okay, so we'll do another easy run, and our last one we'll do a medium run. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I don't know the rulings on what happened with that second run there. I'll have to ask in the Discord after I finish this run, because I think technically I might have accidentally cheated. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's something you're meant to be able to do. I'm not sure. I'm going to guess not. <laughs> But considering I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I'm a, ma I'm a massive disadvantage because I haven't played this before. Although some other people will be exactly the same as me, I'm gonna say it's maybe okay. <laughs> but if I have to re-record, I will. Maybe you won't see this. We'll find out. Um. Oh, okay. We. Okay, so this, this, this one's actually pretty close. Let me go grab my berries first. Just around here. But this one, this this treasure is actually not too far away. Well, well, I say it's not too far away. I'm I'm only assuming that. Ravager in here, no. Good to know. I just can't. God, oh, dude. No, 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 no. Not okay. I've got to jump on these little glass poles. Oh, fuck, there's a Ravager there. I did not hear you coming, big boy. You're not still coming, are you? No, you're not. Good. There's some gold here, lovely. Oh, wait, no, I'm dead. Lovely. I don't think there's any way I can escape this, unless he decides to leave me alone for some reason, which we'll, uh, we will wait and see. But I think it's unlikely. <laughs> I think I've trapped myself. The thing is, once he hits you, you basically stop sprinting as well, so... Shouldn't have gone for the berries. Nah. I'm dead. Okay, so, yeah, that was a pretty piss poor run. Pretty piss poor run. Right, last one of the episode. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's that's the sort of thing that you really don't want to happen. You, you, there's, there's, there's a reason all the berries are in corners. Because it's meant to bait you into doing stuff like that. And I'm, I'm just a stupid enough idiot to do it. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna advance to uh, to medium this time. I think easy is uh, more than difficult enough for me. Clearly. Right. Oh, where we go? Last run of the episode. Let's hope it can go a little bit better than that. I like the way that Alexa was like, each run will take 10 to 15 minutes. Here's me dying in just about one minute. <laughs> a spider underneath me. Grab my berries. They didn't respawn. I forgot to sleep again. <sighs> ah, god damn it. Stability. There's a key here. Nice. Okay, not that we need the key, but... That's the Ravager. Do you want to back off, Big Sawyer? This doesn't seem like the right way to our treasure, but I'm going to carry on this way anyhow. Sneak. Yeah, so I think it's in the actual castle bit this time. Which is definitely more dangerous, because there's always more enemies around there. Surprise! Isn't a ravager in this room, so we can we can pop the key in here. What what's the quick drop button, by the way? 
I still don't know. Controls, keybinds, drop selected items. Is it just Q? It is just Q, okay. That makes things easier. Oh, hello. Being able to juke those guys is uh, a skill that I am very in need of at the moment. Yes, we're still going this way for our treasure. Oh, it's, it's down here, I think. I think it's right here. No. Here? No. Maybe it's above? I'm not quite sure here. It must be this block but above, right? Oh wait, that's just blocked off. How dare you? That bat just killed itself, lovely. Well done to you. I'm so confused right now. It says it's right here, but it's not. says it's right here. Is there another place underneath here it could be? Maybe it's here? There we go, there it is. We got it, we got it. Okay, back we go. See if we can find a treasure on the way out, but I'm not I'm not sticking around for long. Oh, hello. Probably wasn't a great idea to come up here, to be honest, because it's a dead end. With another Ravenger over here. I think I might have just gotten myself killed here. Didn't realize there was more berries back here, that's good to know. That Ravager did stop chasing me, but I don't know where. There. I say, I know there's a Ravager in this room, so as long as this door hasn't blocked itself off, I'm fine. It hasn't, good. Right, we escaping, boys. We going. Oh, that's blocked itself off. It's pretty interesting how, like, over time everything blocks itself off and stuff. It can make things a lot more confusing. A lot, lot more confusing. There's a Ravager there. We didn't unfortunately get much loot this time round, but we made it out with our lives. Oh, wrong way. We're gonna make it out with our lives, hopefully, so... Not bad going on that front. Where the hell am I going now? I'm so lost. There it is. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't know where that came from. Is that like stuff that was left on the floor, maybe? I don't know what that, what, what that is or where that came from. Grab the rest out of here. Here, we are. here they are, look. Come on up now. Lovely. Oh, we got 21 this time. Nice. No extra this time. Okay. 
21 up. What the hell? There's... Oh, I guess there's no uncommon ones. That's crazy. But there is. 32, though. What's... What's going on with the shop? Oh, wait. It's, it's filling up now, I think. Twenty. Gain run speed for 15 seconds. Ooh, that seems useful. That seems very useful. I think I'll go for that. I keep doing the wrong thing there. Right. I think I'll go for that. Unfortunately, we didn't get anywhere near enough gold to get a crown here, but... We did get a card, at least. So no crown for us, we'll just put that in there. And we will go down. Here's that boy. Lovely stuff. Okay, so... Now if we go in there, we'll have our uh, next card that we can put into our chest. We have our crowns here. We have our shards left. And we can actually come over here and see what we can afford to get with our crowns. Um... Ethereal card. I don't know what ethereal cards do. Mystery item. Random key. What's an ethereal card? I mean, we could always just check it out and see. It's only two crowns. Let's go find out, shall we? Let's go find out what they do. An ethereal card. Um, is this not how you purchase them? Or oh, maybe there's no stock. Maybe there's just none there. That's why there's no images. That might be why. Refresh the shop. Okay, so let's leave that for now, I guess. Uh, but that's going to be the first episode. I will need to just clarify if I've actually accidentally cheated or not. Because I think I'm supposed to be sleeping between runs. I wasn't told that. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which should be in a few days.